identify what we've lost. Scholars of federalism, of Indian federalism, uh, have gone back to our constitutional debates and argued that India had a fairly unique kind of federalism, different room for federalism that, we, that the United States, for example, had. Because it was a federalism, and if you look through our constitutional debates, we are Baker in particular, played an important role in arguing for a much more centralized notion of federalism. So in a sense, in 1940, 1950, when we adopted our constitution, we were looking to what many scholars have described as a quasi-federal structure, or a federalism with very strong central tendencies, which is why the center plays an enormously critical role in, a federal, in India's federalism, unique compared to anywhere else in the world. So let's start with that. Were we, in 1950, committing ourselves to a genuinely federal India? And if so, what was the nature of that federalism that we may or may not have lost today? Shashi, may I start with you? Sure, young I am very happy to defer to our, to our, our home states here. Uh, but I suspect on this, most of us are on the same page. As far as 1950 is concerned, no, I think quasi-federal is absolutely the right answer because what they felt was that you needed, on the one hand, to keep the country together. Don't forget, we just emerged from a terrible violent partition. Uh, there were still the princely states that had very recently been brought into the Union. So uh, there was very much this, this somewhat centralizing tendency reflected in the preoccupations of people like Nehru and Ambedkar, who wanted to keep the country united. So that Patel, for example, retaining the civil service as a steel frame of the unitary system. But at the same time, there is a curious equivalence with this language like India being a union of states. Because after all, in the US, it literally was a union of states. The states pre-existed and came together to create the union. But in our case, the union came first, and the union still has the constitutional right to create states, uh, as we've seen with the creations of some of the more recent states in the last 25 years. So you've got a, you've got a very interesting ambivalence, but that ambivalence need not be problematic if there is a fair balance. The overall objective ought to be that everybody, wherever they are in India, should feel they have an equal stake in the survival and success of our country. And federalism is the means of ensuring that. The problem has been that the attempts that were made to maintain that have sadly uh, declined or been diluted over the years. We have seen, for example, a situation where the proportion of resources that the center transfers to the states has significantly declined. Central revenues have gone up. I think BTR and ATR can speak to this more than I'm young. Uh, Mr. Reddy, the finance minister, can speak to this better. But this has become a genuine challenge, and therefore the capacity, the ability of the states to balance the overweening authority of the center has been called into question like never before in the last decade or so. That, I think, is where the question of the spirit of federalism comes up. There was a balance, has that balance been lost? Thank you. So there was a balance, and in that balance, the center certainly played a crucial role, particularly, as you say, in, in, in the ability to form states. Uh, Kitty, I may I come to you first to ask you to reflect on precisely this. Before we get into what we are losing, to understand what was the nature of that balance, because the center played a very crucial role in actually creating or continues, in fact, by virtue of its constitutional powers, in shaping the nature of the formation of states. Uh, so, you know, in, in your imagination of what federalism is as articulated in the Constitution, what is the role of the center in that framework? Thank you, Yami. Uh, firstly, thanks uh, to Vasu and uh, Team of South First for having us here. I think uh, it's an honor to you know, be on this panel. Uh, you know, I've uh, had the good fortune of meeting uh, Diago for the first time. Good seeing you. Um, going to the question that you asked, I think uh, the reference that you made with respect to constituent assembly debate, I think Dr. Biyar made the best report that I don't want to get, get wrong. It very famously said, these provisions with respect to defining India as a union of states make the Indian constitution both unity as well as federal, according to the requirements of time and circumstances. In normal times, it is framed to work as a federal system, but in times of war, 
some sort of a emergency or an exigency, is so designed as to make it work as though it was a unitary system. So the fact is, India, without a question, as enshrined in the Constitution, is a federal republic. 